Hey everyone, welcome to Reverse 1999. So this is a 20th century time traveling card RPG game. In this world, regular humans and mystical archetypes live in uneasy coexistence, the Manus Vindicte. So they are a group of arcanists, guys, that determined that are determined to restore Arcanum users to their former glory. Okay, so they seem to have a connection with the emergence of a storm. The storm is basically an event that reverses time. Okay, so time didn't move forward from 1999. It's actually moving backward. So as the only one immune to the effects of the storm, the St. Pablo Foundation, an institution dedicated to the protection of Arcanist, has appointed you, Timekeeper, Observer of Eras, with the aid of Soneto, a powerful arcanist and ally from the Foundation. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to travel through Eras to where the storm is most active, find other arcanists who can sense the coming storm, and save them from being sifted out of the timeline. So this is where the the collection of other, uh, what do you call it, characters comes into play. So this happens from the Roaring Twenties up to the turn of the Millennium. So you'll experience various events in between, uh, familiar events in history, uh, familiar uh, things like, for example, for me, it's going to be um, no nostalgic because of the floppy disk. And also, guys, don't forget that this game has various regional accents that you will enjoy played by some of our characters okay so again without um any further ado let's check out the characters that i have at this point so this is the roster that i basically collected guys um the orange ones are your six stars the yellow ones are your five stars the purple ones are your four and obviously the blue is going to be your three star okay so let me go through the characters the characters as they level up um up to 40 and beyond they may change in in wardrobe or in appearance so i have here eternity and and Lee, Lilia, Centurion, and Sotheby, they are actually already uh, break, broken through. So they are uh, at least here in the middle. We'll go to that later. So each character here, you can actually change. Uh, when you reach level 40, you can change their appearance. You can change their dress. You can, as, a, as the text said, they can get changed. And you can actually change this to a wallpaper as well. So we'll try to change the appearance of everyone here. So I have unlocked, I've cleared a lot of stages already. So for Anne Anne Lee, this is her new appearance here. So if you want to change her there, that is her wallpaper. Let's go with wallpapers, guys. I love the wallpapers for this game. Uh, for Lilia as well. So Lilia here. Um, she's, she's dressed already. Okay. So I didn't change her appearance. So just change the wallpaper. This one, this girl, I love how her next dress looks. If you know what I mean. So let's change to that wallpaper there. So she's like Houdini actually. <laughs> so next is Sotheby. Sotheby is gonna be the last one that will be changing. So get dressed. So again, Changing of appearance will also change um, how they look, obviously, in-game. Okay, so that is how they're going to be changing appearance once they reach level 40 up. Let's go through all of the features of each character. So, as you click here, there is obviously an elemental system to this game. So, Beast uh, trumps uh, Plant, Plant trumps uh, Star... Star trumps mineral and mineral trumps beast. On the other side, you have spirit trumps intelligence and vice versa. So deals more 30 more percent damage against enemies with weaker af aflatus. It's not affinity, it's aflatus. Okay, so please make sure. Obviously, the game will indicate whether you're going to be strong or um, actually before you prepare your team, you're going to be uh, told whether 
that character is strong versus your current opponent so this is not going to be a problem and also it will re be reflected in your skills later on so you have here your character bond as you can see the name centurion the ability here of what type of uh, ability this character has personal stats as well your basic stats and the most important part is your level up system so this is your level up these are um, the requirements for the resources the insight that i went to earlier this is basically your breakthrough system so as you reach a certain level you're gonna need to break through a certain character so let's level up her i'm only at 41 okay so as you reach 50 you're gonna need to break through her or inside her so you need all of these requirements then as you break through you're gonna be receiving specific passive so for for her for centurion for for every one moxie own one moxie is basically a a um a star or a circle um as you reach the maximum number of moxie then you can use your ultimate we'll demo that later in our gameplay so insight here critical this insight too critical rate 10 percent when the caster enters battle so if i reached 50 and i did insight her or break through her then i could also uh, claim this one when the caster loses moxie hp plus okay so th this is the additional passive that she is going to be getting so let's move on to the skill so this is how um you know um their ultimate looks like so it it has an arc a difference in terms of the card so this is also additional skills to the card itself then you have two other skills these are not passives these are cards that you will be playing with so one two so there's a difference guys as you can see here this is one two level two and level three you will achieve this later as you merge cards we're going to be demoing that later in our gameplay so if you merge um two cards of the same type of, and of the same level let's say two level ones of the same card you'll be getting a level two so two level twos you'll be getting level three that is the system later that we're going to take a look at so these are the cards that you'll be using all three of them are cards and also the side cube preference this is going to be the equipment system for the game so you have here basic stats um addition then there are actually passive um stats that will be added to your characters um i'm not sure if there are passive abilities but from what i've seen these are passive stats only okay so they have rarities as well so you have to farm these as well and we also have portray here portray is uh, basically, when you have additional copies of a certain character, they increase in in stats uh, as well. So as you can see here, these are passive stats that are increasing. There are not skills. So as you level up, again, one copy is one level increase. And the last one is going to be Resonate. This one is an additional, um, I don't know, additional stats to your character. Um it's like a puzzle system so if you reset this so you can actually customize your um what do you call this customize your resonate so going back customize you can puzzle it yourself but why bother just do a quick load and the AI will just customize it for if you don't have the patience to do this. So again, if you have the patience, you can do a puzzle, customize what you want to put in, attack, crit rate, whatever, and you're good. So they, these are additional stats to your characters and they do level up. So though that is the basic character uh, overview build up um, for each character. It's usually the same however for your insight by the time you reach um level not level if you have a character which is only at a four star your insight has only a max of two okay so take note of that so for your three star it's also a max of two so those are the only differences between three four versus five 
six. Okay, so moving to um, content for the game. So we have our basic story here. We have chapters one to four. This one is unlocked. This will probably be out during global. So the story has a normal stage and a hard stage. So this is what I like about this game. Uh, again, it's usually uh, a progression of difficulty once you've finished part of the story. Then you have resource grinding. Obviously, a game will not be um, as good if there's no resource grinding in this game. So you have to grind your resources here. Insight is, again, a resource grinding content and artificial uh, sonambulism is another content. So again... Uh, very straightforward for the content and um, as you can see where are the this is your energy system by the way so there are different types of refills here the smaller candy and the bigger candy I like this design by the way this is very fun so you can refill also using your energy um, it's the usual mechanic right now and this um, what they call the clear drop is also used for your summons too bad that I don't have any more you know currency for summons but this is your banner guys the uh, um, summon summon 10 summon 1 and here are the details for summoning each character so these are your drop rates I won't comment uh, I won't comment on the drop rate at this point this might change by global, so we will see once the game drops on global. Okay, so we also are going to go to the gameplay. Let's find gameplay here. Okay, so let's uh, take this. So for this game, if you plan to do some farming, you can actually do farming, but it's a replay system. So as you can see there, um, you can actually replay um, once but farm uh, resources times one, times two, times three, and times four. Let's do a times one. So let's do a replay here. So for the replay system, you could opt actually to go slow or to go fast. So this is what the gameplay looks like. We'll do a um, an actual gameplay later after this round. So basically... You can pause, you can fast forward gameplay so that you could clear the stages as soon as possible. Again, guys, the 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 game has a very crisp feel to it. The design, the movement, and I think it's very unique to itself. The combination um, in terms of the characters and, 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 and the gameplay, they're, they're quirky enough and I enjoy the voice acting so much. Um, that you would want to, you know, uh, it really is really unique um, in terms of voice acting, in terms of how the characters even interact with each other, in terms of the story. Um, again, uh, it, it, it's going to have a very nostalgic feel for those who grew up in the 90s. And uh, again, there are similar, there are very familiar objects in this game, like the TV, again, like the floppy disk. So, again, there's a lot to, um, what you call this, there's a lot to absorb and to appreciate during the 90s because of this game. So, we're nearing the end of this boss battle. So, again, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for you to, to farm, especially if you're farming stages wherein you have to take down a boss similar as this one. But, again... It's going to be worth it. So there you go. So we have resources here for one clear. And let's go to a battle. Let's not do this. This is a bit a, a long stage. Let's go to the other one. As you can see, the TV there is very retro. So let's go to a stage where in, it's not a boss. Let's go with a hard stage here. So start. If you want to turn off, the uh what do you call this the replay you just have to pause this this is going to go to a standard battle so this is basically your team so um 
on the left side is going to be your goals for this stage extra conditions apply so these are uh, conditions that you need to take you know take notice before you deploy something so extra conditions the enemy who is stronger so as you can see it's indicated below who is stronger versus who so i'd like to swap in my girl here um centurion so recommended insight level as well and recommended element is here so again the game tells you if you your you know your team is going to be good or not and we have additional additional skill that we're going to be talking about this is going to be the first melody so the first melody is a charge up system that once once it charges enough points you can either use this one these incantations so generate one star incantation immediately you can merge it with any one star incantation to level up the latter retains the tiers of all current incantations and randomly changes them into new ones so this re reshuffles your your hand this one is giving you a copy so that you can merge two copies so Again, let's go to the actual gameplay here and let's see how this is being played. Okay, so we have two waves here. Take note that there is a special condition for this game. So if you want to take a look at more in terms of your um, your enemies, you can check their stats here. So all three of them, you can check what they can do. So going back to the battle, so you go first usually. So your skills are going to be uh, mostly three three types you have your buff you have your debuffs and you have your attack so let's go with the buff first this buff is mass buff damage dealt is plus 15 and damage taken is minus 15 for all allies lasts for two rounds then let's um let's try this one as you notice here guys as you cast a skill this one charges this was a 20 now it's a 24 your next skill if we're going with a mass attack so again before you do an attack especially if it's a targeted attack make sure that you are pointing to the correct enemy before you cast it especially if if it's a single target attack if it's a mass attack so this is going to be two enemies but this is your primary target so let's do that and we have uh, we're gonna do a, another mass attack here let's do no no i'll do this one so this one is a singular attack to the same target so as you click you are actually um allowed three attacks we'll do merging later when once we have copies so th these are three individual attacks so again per round um not attacks but uh spells so one is a buff two are attacks and they are one is a mass attack and one is a direct attack to a specific enemy so we'll go with round two so as you can see here this is charged up to 37 you can actually use this one and reshuffle everything but we don't we don't want to do that at this point we're gonna do some um combinations okay before we do some combinations um if you notice here your enemy has something ready already okay this is an attack this one is a debuff it's 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 called purple so if you see this card here he's about to cast a debuff in an attack the next turn so you can basically anticipate uh, what to do you can disable them disarm them whatever you have as a skill sometimes is going to be important uh before your enemy attacks there are skills here that disable them that they can do this it is going to be lost and it's going to be a you know a, they're going to do nothing the next turn so there are characters that do that but for my team they are purely based on attack so let's do a merge here so once you do a merge again if you want to strengthen a certain skill you do a merge you move a card and one merge or move is going to consume one action so you can't do any more action you only are allowed two actions here the only one that we did um is going to we're going to put that up there let's take out this guy and we do have another merge because uh what they call this because uh you left the center and both cards that are similar are definitely going to move if, if you want to cancel an a, a action guys 
you just click above here and your action cancels take note of that so let's just replay what i did let's move it here let's move this up here so that these two will merge so and let's use this one as well so there you go so one move two actions two attacks um as soon as your first enemy dies the mass attack moves to the next two so we are actually here this is your ultimate and this is already powered up so generates one star incantation let's take take a look at this so as you generate an incantation and if you want to level up a one star to two star then it's imperative that you select them wisely so let's do um, this let's try out the ultimate here the first one then this is a mass kill okay so let's try this one as well and this one is a single attack so you can switch if you want again so that is it i don't have an idea on why some of your enemies attack twice so that well that that's part of the game so at this point again you have you have to live with that so again that was the first round this is the second round so be careful guys on using a sec your skill especially if you're anticipating the first round to be over so this one however is going to be a single target attack let's let's uh, take out this guy before he attacks he has two attacks here and that is going to hurt so let's uh, use the ultimate with a single target and let's use this one this is a debuff so target deals 350 reality and this debuff by the way is only triggered because this card is already level three level one and two for this card doesn't have days so days is again it they're going to be dizzy and they won't be able to do anything for one round so if this ultimate fails to destroy this guy then we will finish him off with uh, not finish him off but we will do a debuff or a days for him so let's uh reverse that let's do a days first then let's do the ultimate for that guy then the next one is going to be a mass attack let's do the mass attack for these two just in case that this one uh, is going to be dead so there you go it's gonna be dazed it's gonna be controlled basically if you don't have this ultimate attack that enemy won't be able to do anything so there you go the mass attack so again that is the 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 game mechanic to this um i'll do another buff i don't have buffs anymore so this buff is already at level three so mass buff the damage dealt is increased to plus 30 and the damage taken is plus uh is minus 30. this was at 15 at level one so that's a big jump that's a double jump then let's take out this guy here um let's do another stronger as you can see this at level two no more days here it's only at level three then we also let's do no no let's go back here let's uh, use this you can't use this one if you've cast it already so you have to summon you have to do that um again let's do the buff here let's do this and uh, we can do uh, let's do this one so this one is also a mass attack Okay, so you just uh, if you're not familiar with the skills you can you can hold and click them then their skills will be showing to you and you'll be you know understanding what you're going to be summoning before you do so this is the last um what do you call this the last ultimate i think uh for centurion okay uh before i forget guys as you cast your skills you'll be gaining moxie this is the moxie part here these dots here represent your moxie as you reach five then your ultimate comes out okay so take note of that so if we don't do anything if we do just a buff and we do you know small things we can actually power up her you know for ultimate the next turn as you can see here she gains another moxie then the next turn she'll have another uh ultimate but we have to finish up this boss as you can see no holds barred at this point so fun animations guys i tell you 
So there you go. Those are crits, by the way, the red ones. So there you go. Very big damage. So that is the combat system. Is about to return. Again, um, the combat system um, is, I think, for me, well balanced because it gives you an opportunity to refresh your hand. So also, guys, don't forget, you also have a base system which is called the wilderness so you can actually upgrade and expand your base system here so it's an island system you edit your wilderness here so once you edit this you can actually add uh, we still have one lakeside here okay so let's add that island let's put one in here okay so let's put that here so you just click no no Click on this, then just uh, move it around, then you, there you go. So that is how you build. You unlock this, then you have certain buildings that you can place. So Moon Dock, we have a new one here. That is really a new one. Okay, so let's uh, move this thing around. That place is building in this area, let's move around, okay. You can move this, the placement of this one. It's gonna it's gonna be should be in water. So okay, there you go. So click. <laughs> there you go. So again, it's really, really a nice break from the usual base system. This is going to be a wilderness system that we're gonna be having. Then once you're done editing your wilderness, then you go back building your island then uh you can place your characters here you have seven that i've placed so far all over the island or the wilderness so they're there they will have they will increase their bond as they stay there as you wow. deploy them so bond is increased as you can see then uh certain structures are already in place then this is the structure that is going to be uh, crucial to your, uh, what do you call this, to your resource generation. So both these structures, the Dust Bell and the Sharpodonti Market is going to be crucial. You can actually see how much they're creating. And to upgrade, this is probably your main hall. So this is where the upgrade happens, everything in the crafting. You can level it up here and there you go. So. This determines the level of uh, your main hall, basically, <clears throat> for this game. So that is it. Quite simple and yet quite interesting that they turned the base system into a wilderness. So that is it, guys. This has been a very, very long overview of the game. So what do I think of it now that we're, we're you know, we're reached? I'm actually recording this on the last day. Um, this is really a must-play game. Um, definitely this is going to be a niche game um, but again this is a must play game for me this is a fresh new look to what a game or a card game should be I've you know I've, uh, I've used uh, I, I've played a lot of card games in the past this one is in in terms of aesthetic in terms of gameplay is really really up there so Again, guys, um, I really hope to see you in global. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be covering this game in global definitely, um, and uh, hopefully we could go beyond chapter three. So again, guys, I'm recommending this game to everyone. Um, I'm really sold on this in terms of what this game is going to be in the future. It's potential. I'm gonna be playing this game with my current game that I'm playing, which is No Break Containment Zone. But again, this game is going to be uh, massive, guys. This is going to have a great potential. We'll just have to wait for Global once uh, you know it drops, and hopefully, it's going to be soon. So that is it, guys. Um, comment down below in the comment section what do you think of this game, and if are you playing this game. Um, before I forget, this is your store, by the way, your bank. So this is where you buy all the things that you need. So again, warehouse is going to be your uh, your inventory. Again, this is just a uh, 
last minute ditch effort to cover everything so so far i think i covered everything i'm at level 27 and uh the game ends in a few minutes and it has been a blast hope to see you in global guys thank you very much for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here <laughs>